Greetings brothers and sisters. This is the third recording about sexual intimacy in marriage. This topic is very strictly for mature audiences only and I would recommend only married couple listen to this or the ones who are going to get married in the near future. This is not for singles and especially not for children. Singles who are interested can listen. Kindly pray before you listen. I hope the explanations blesses your intimacy and your relationship with your spouse very often we are asked that why is it that only the missionary position is approved by a holy god and i think i've got some interesting answers the word of god says in leviticus 18:22 you shall not lie with a male or a man like as with a woman for it is an abomination this means that this scripture expects that you are to lie with your wife not sit squat kneel stand bend but lie with your wife next lying is not any kind of lying but the traditional missionary position which is husband on top of his wife facing her and the wife lying flat on the marriage bed facing her husband God who is wiser than man intended this position to draw the spouses close together to experience love in its purest form. The missionary position is hated by the world and seen by the world as old-fashioned and designed for people who consider sex dirty. But this is nothing but the old serpent's lie. He wants to slowly inject his poison in a holy union and to defile the marriage bed by positions that he gave Vatsyayana in Kama Sutra to go against the holy scriptures. God intended and created sex to be a permanent, undivorceable union demonstrating the agape love unconditional faithfulness and a lifelong commitment between his children there are three points i want to discuss under this topic the first is the husband knowing his wife the holy scripture says in genesis 4:1 adam knew his wife and she conceived Genesis 4:17 says Cain knew his wife and she conceived. 1 Samuel 1:19 says Elkanah knew Hannah his wife. The word knew is not just sexual intercourse but much much deeper in its true sense. Hebrew lexicon is H3045 means knowing means yada to know a person not know about a person and not just know of a person but personally know on a personal level in an intimate level it also means the following to experience them for themselves to familiarize themselves the word know also comes from the word knowledge that means having knowledge about the person you are intimate with to discover a person to discern a person to show intimacy in the act of love to be certain of a person to know with certainty engagement with a person to be informed of a person to observe to perceive to notice to realize have attachment with a person dedication in a relationship to be involved with a person to understand them to recognize them to encourage them to care for them to be satisfied in a relationship All of these words means the word yada y a d a yada Adam knew his wife this is the god ordained way of sex the husband knows his wife in a deeper way by symbolizing the love of Christ to his church husband knowing the wife the husband who is the head of the woman according to 1 Corinthians 11:3 initiates the knowing starts the knowing facilitates the knowing which is deep deep love for his wife the second point i want to talk about is head of a woman 1 Corinthians 11:3 talks about the head of every man is Christ and the head of every woman is the man the man is the head god sees the man as the primary leader of his family god has placed on him the mantle of great responsibility to be the prophet 
the priest and the king in his house not the king of kings but the king in his house the king solomon of his house the chief of his house the commander of his house the captain the authority figure the overseer the kinsman redeemer to lead to provide to protect to love to set an example for his children and his wife to imitate christ in everything this is the biblical order in a god ordained marriage even in the moments of intimacy the husband's position on top is honoring god because he cannot forget that jesus christ is his head his head you cannot bring christ low by submitting yourself to your wife but rather she submits to you according to ephesians 5:22 and 23 This does not mean that the husband can be a dictator in bed or abusive to his wife when it comes to sexual intimacy, but it means that he is loving her like Christ loved his church to the point of death, like in Ephesians 5:25. Woman on top changes the role, the order, the hierarchy, the authority of the spouses according to the biblical order of marriage and intimacy. The third point is contrary to nature. contrary to nature Romans 1:26 the amplified version says and for this cause God gave them up to wild affections that is shameful lust for even their women did exchange the natural use of sex the natural use of sex into that which is against nature into that which is against nature there is a nature of a beast in the field a dog mates with another dog the dog way a crab mates with another crab the crab way every animal mates with their kind the way god ordained and intended mating to be a cow with another cow the way god intended them to be which is purely reproductively motivated for mating and for copulation god did not ordain animals to have sexual intimacy like human beings they do not mate and copulate to unite in the spirit and they do not have a redeemable soul or a spirit that goes to heaven when they die animals were created by the word of god by the word of his mouth whereas human beings were created by the breath of his nostrils and by his own hands He did not die for the beasts of the field nor they can attain salvation. The beasts of the field do not encroach man's territory by defiling God's areas of sexual union. A tortoise mates with another tortoise the same way he has been mating for 2000 years. A dog mates with another dog the way they have been mating down the ages. They do not mate like chimpanzee. Now, research also says that because of the sinful component of the broken, fractured world we live in, there are sinful components even in animals to a great degree in the fallen world. Shows that the even animals have fallen against their nature because of the component of sin not sparing even the animal world and that is so sad so why does then a man imitate a cow a horse a rabbit a dog in bed and trade his god given image to a beast they are behaviors and traits of bestiality where a man or a woman abandons the god given identity and role in a marriage and puts on an animalistic role of a cow a dog a hen a chimpanzee etc offering worship to the animal god which is the goat head baphomet my brother my sister you are subconsciously imitating the animalistic behavior in your marriage bed and you are bowing down to the baphomet or the goat head who is lucifer let's come to the another point of 
Why is the missionary position in advantage with other positions when it comes to intimacy? See, God is wiser than humans. He created this position to strengthen the bond between a husband and a wife. The first point is there is plenty of skin to skin contact in this position. Skin to skin contact releases oxytocin, which is the love hormone, the bonding hormone, the cuddling hormone, the falling in love hormone. There is that warm and fuzziness when you hug your your spouse. You are close to them. You feel safe and secure in their arms. You are nestled in their bosom and you feel like not leaving them because it's the bonding hormone it's the same hormone that a mother releases when she's actually breastfeeding her baby and if you have watched my second video on sexual addictions i talk about how pornography when you watch pornography how you are connecting yourself to porn because you release oxytocin you are married to porn and it becomes an addictive pattern because you are releasing oxytocin you are permanently binding yourself contracting yourself uh, tying yourself with pornography because of oxytocin you are bonding you are connecting this position also releases dopamine and serotonin to boost your mind to boost your mood and relaxes you by bringing down the blood pressures alleviates depression and anxiety point number 2 in this position you can passionately kiss your spouse showing them love now i'm talking about the physiological and physical benefits of this position the book of song of songs in chapter 1 verses 2 says may he kiss me with the kisses of his mouth for your love is sweeter than wine song of songs 411 says your lips drop sweetness as the honeycomb my bride milk and honey are under your tongue the scripture explains how you can passionately kiss your spouse in my profession i have encountered countless of prostitutes who are brought into the prison system i have had prostitutes who have given me numbers as high as sleeping with 400 to 1000 men in their lifetime these women are extremely suicidal they have destructive personality traits most of them are self harming they have anti social behaviors they feel unloved and many explain themselves as feeling as a used menstrual pad feeling as a used toilet tissue where the man uses and throws them into the toilet and flushes them down the drain never to be seen again the majority of the men that sleep with these women are married men the reason why married men go after prostitutes is their wife refuses to involve into immoral or abominable acts just because that may not be her style or she may be a christian whatever the reason is the men want to carry out their deviant often sadistic violent fantasies with these prostitutes resulting in insulting them and hurting them causing some irreplaceable damages some of the main things that these prostitutes have told me in my career is i have never been kissed by a man that means they come and have sex and go but there is no kissing no man has ever told me that they love me no man has ever told me that i want to marry you no man has hugged me no man has held me no man has cuddled me embraced me no man has permitted me to lie on their chest this toxic abusive sadistic selfish immoral sexual relationships often drives these women to the point of taking their own lives they continue these men only grab my private parts and fulfill their lustful passions and perform abominable acts i am left as a wretched abused battered body loaded with human fluids swollen genitals bleeding private parts insulted and disgraced more than a female stray dog on the streets why should i live tell me why should i live this is not sex my brothers and sisters this is lust demonic wild lustful passions that takes the people who are involved in this debauchery and drags their souls to the eternal hell god created sexual intimacy to be a long lasting permanent selfless 
loving covenant with your wife and your husband. Point number three, exposing everything, withholding nothing. The most vulnerable state of a woman is lying naked without clothes, flat on the bed and a man on top of her because in reality she cannot escape of this position in case someone was to become violent. This position symbolizes total surrender, openness, a receptive state of a woman. For a woman, her body is her honor and she will not give it to any Tom, Dick and Harry on the road. So when she lies there bearing everything, she's making a statement to her husband that I am giving up everything. I am withholding nothing. I am giving you my mind, body and soul for you to cherish and preserve and treasure it. Treasure your wife's body as a gentle rose. Deal with her. Handle her as if she is a delicate flower. My dear brothers, you have to be careful in the missionary possession, making sure that you do not hurt her in any ways, but be gentle with her. This is physically gentle and emotionally gentle. Next thing again, a little bit of graphic, but for the sake of explaining it, the male organ has a skin covering their appendage, whereas the woman's vagina is plain, delicate mucosa which is extremely tender to injuries from an external source. My brothers, honor your wife's body at all times, especially during sexual intimacy, because you are the husband, you are on top, and you control this position, which can easily hurt and damage your wife physically and emotionally. Handle her like you handle a delicate rose. This position also shows the authority to the Godhead, where the husband hovers above her, offering her protection, that security, uh, that male covering that she so deeply desired, that he's making a statement that he is her defender, her knight in shining armor, her king, her prince, her leader, her defender, her guardian on earth. In this position, it gives her an emotional security that she will never have to fear of anyone hurting her because of her man who hovers over her, defends her, guards her and protects her. It's a covenant made. It's a statement declared. Last but not the least, it, this position also helps in having offsprings. Due to the anatomical positions of the reproductive organs of all the physiological components, a woman's organ receives and a man's organ gives. That is how God intended it and let it be so. May we not change the God-ordained positions, the roles, the hierarchy on the marriage bed. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Stay safe. Stay rapturable. Till next time. Shalom.